Welcome back to Silicophilic, your go-to source for tech tips and fixes. Method 1. Tweak the in-game settings, run FC26. Open the game settings and click on display configuration or similar settings. First, set the resolution to the native resolution or this one. Keep changing and see what works for you. Next, set display mode to full screen or windowed borderless. Set the refresh rate to 60 Hz. Next, set the frame rate to 30 FPS or 60 FPS. Turn off VSync. Turn the dynamic resolution scale to off. Next, set cutscene performance to half frame rate. Set strand based here to off. Next, you can set rendering quality to low. Next, set grass quality to low or crowd quality to low. Once done, go to the bottom of the screen and apply the changes. Then confirm from the pop-up window. You can tweak the settings as per your system and check what works for you. Method 2. Check the date, time and region on your PC. If the date, time and region on your PC are not correct, then also you can have issues while playing the game. To check that, right-click on the date, time at the right corner of the taskbar and select Adjust Date and Time. Select the time zone to automatically. Make sure proper time zone is selected. Toggle on the Set Time Automatically option. Click on Region from the top and select the proper region. Once done, try to launch the game and check. Method 3. Verify the game files. Missing or corrupted game files can also cause issues like this. So verify the game files. Here is how you can verify the integrity of the game files from Steam platform. Head to Steam library, right click on the game and open its properties. Go to the installed files tab and click on the verify the integrity of the game files option. Wait till Steam verifies the game files and download the missing file or fix the corrupted game files. Once done, launch the game and check. Method 4. Run the game with administrative privileges. Next, you can run the game with administrative privileges. Sometimes the game file may require administrative privileges to run. Here is how you can do so. Right click on the game shortcut on your desktop and open its properties window. You can also go to the game installation folder and right click on the exe file to open properties. You can also open steam properties. Go to the compatibility tab. Check the box for run this program as an administrator. Click on apply and then on ok to save the changes. Another thing you can do is change the compatibility mode. To do that, open the game properties, then go to the compatibility tab. Check the box for run this program in compatibility mode for the option. Select a Windows version and click on apply and then on OK. Method 5. Add the game for high performance and try a lower resolution. Press the Windows plus I keys to open settings. Click on System and then select Display. Scroll down and click on Graphics. Click on the Browse option and head to the Game Installation folder. Select Game EXE and add it. You will now see it here. Click on Options and select High Performance. Select Save to save the changes. You can also try a lower resolution from Settings. To do that, go to Windows Settings Click on the System tab and select Display. Then head to Display Resolution. You can try a lower resolution than the recommended one for your PC and check if the game loads now. Method 6. Disable Full Screen Optimization The next thing you can do is Disable Full Screen Optimization. Double click on this PC and navigate to the Game Installation folder. Open the Game Properties window, go to the Compatibility tab and disable Full Screen Optimization. Click on Apply and then on OK to save the changes. 
Method 7. Change the settings from the NVIDIA control panel. If you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, then you can change the settings from the NVIDIA control panel to boost the performance. To do so, right click on the desktop and select NVIDIA control panel. Select Manage 3D settings from the left side. Click on the Global Settings tab. Scroll down in the Settings section and look for Shader Cache Size. Once you have found it, click on it and set it to Unlimited. Click on Apply to save the changes. Now select the Manage 3D Settings again and click on the Program Settings tab. Find the Game EXE file in the Find program to customize the list and add it. If you don't find it here, then click on Browse. Then head to the Game Installation folder and add the .exe file from there. After the game is added, open the next drop-down menu and select High Performance NVIDIA Processor. Next, find OpenGL Rendering GPU and set it to your graphics card. Now find the power management mode and set it to maximum performance. Next find VSync and set it as adaptive. Method A. Set the power settings to high performance. The next thing you can do is set the power settings to high performance. This will allow the PC to go for performance optimizations over power saving. You can set the high performance mode for the intense gameplay for better results. To do so, open control panel using Windows Search. Set the view by section to large or small icons. Select power options. Once done, restart your PC and then launch FC26. Method 9. Configure Windows Game Settings the next thing you can do is make sure the Windows game settings are properly configured for the optimal FPS. This should also reduce the chance of crashing or launching. First, make sure the game mode is enabled. To check that, go to Windows settings, then click on the game tab. Select game mode from the right side pane. Make sure the game mode toggle is turned on. Next, click on the back button next to settings and click on the game bar tab. Turn the toggle off. Next, go back and click on the captures tab. Disable record what happened and capture audio when recording a game toggles. Method 10. Set the game to high priority. Open the task manager using window search. Then select the details tab. Right click on the game exe process and move the cursor to set priority, click on high. Similarly, you can also set the priority or other processes that you need to keep running to low, which should give the game more of the system resources to run optimally. Method 11. Update graphics drivers and run the game on the dedicated graphics card. Make sure to update the graphics driver before you start gaming. This should help you avoid issues while gaming and boost your gaming experience. Here is how you can update your graphics drivers. Open Device Manager using Windows Search. Go to the Display Adapter section and expand it. Right click on your graphics driver and choose Update Driver option. From the next window, select the Search Automatically for Drivers option. Follow the on-screen instructions to download and install the latest driver. You can also visit the official website of your graphics card manufacturer to update your graphics drivers. These websites are linked in the description below. Now download the latest drivers for the graphics card installed on your computer from these websites. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the driver installation process. Once done, restart your PC. When the device restarts, open the app again to check for updates. Download and install the available updates. 
If you have multiple GPUs for your computer, then make sure you use the one exclusively for gaming. This ensures you a better gaming experience. So using a dedicated GPU for gaming can avoid issues while playing games like FC26. Here is how you can check if you are running the dedicated graphics card. However, this depends upon your operating system and the graphics card you are using. Press the Windows key and R to launch the Run utility. Type this in the Run command box and hit Enter or click on OK. Expand the Display Adapters section. Here you will find the two adapters, one for your dedicated graphics card and the integrated graphics card. The dedicated graphics card should have a longer and more specific name than the integrated one. The dedicated graphics card may also have a higher memory size listed. So run the game with the dedicated graphics card. Method 12. Disable Overlay Features Disabling the overlay can boost the performance while playing FC26. So here is how you can disable Steam Overlay. Open Steam Library, find the game and right click on it. Go to its properties. Now go to the General tab. Uncheck the Enable the Steam Overlay while in game option. You should also disable other overlay apps like Discord, GeForce Experience, NVIDIA Shadow Play Overlay or AMD Overlay before playing the game. Method 13. Set the highest refresh rate for your monitor. You should choose the highest refresh rate for your PC monitor supports while playing FC26. This ensures a better gaming experience. To do so, right-click on a blank space on your desktop. Select Display Settings, then select Advanced Display. From the drop-down menu, choose a refresh rate. Make sure to set the highest rate your monitor permits. Method 14. Allow the game through the firewall. Another potential cause of this issue could be firewall interference. So you can check that by allowing the game through firewall and your antivirus program. Here we are showing how to allow the game through Windows Security. Open the Windows Security app using the Windows Search. Now click on the firewall and network protection option. After that, tap on the allow an app through firewall option from the right side pane and then press the change settings button. Next click on the allow another app button and then press the browse button to select the game exe file. Click on open and then click on the add button. You will now see the game under the list of allowed apps and features. Tick the checkbox associated with the game and enable it on both public and private networks. Once done, you can press the OK button to save the changes. Finally, you can relaunch the game file and check if it is loading properly. Also make sure that your Windows operating system is up to date. Method 15. Close unnecessarily running programs. Sometimes streaming and downloading can compete for resources and cause issues while playing games like FC26. So close unnecessary apps to free up the bandwidth for FC26. Right click on the Windows Start button and select Task Manager. Go to the Processes tab and right click on the processes you want to close. Select the End Task option. Repeat the same for each task you want to kill. Then exit the window. And that's how you troubleshoot FC26 on PC like a pro. If your game is finally running smooth, hit the like button and subscribe for more no fluff tech guides. Still stuck? Drop your error message or set up in the comments. We will help you sort it out. Thanks for watching Silicophilic. Catch you in the next video.